Are you ready? Hallelujah. I will declare I will declare you, you are, are the only one the only God the only God the, the only, only God, God the only 
only God. I will declare. I will declare. You are the only God. The only God. Just lift your hands and let's celebrate the Holy Spirit in this place. Just worship him, lift your hands. Oh Rabaso Korama Sande Bere Kela Mama. Oh Yanana Sokoya. Holy Spirit, thou art well. Come in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art well. Come in this place. Holy potent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. I know you are here, here in your power. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, hey, here in your glory, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Holy fire, I know you are here, sweet and mighty Holy Spirit. I know you are here tonight. You are here. Oh, you are here, precious Holy. Spirit, hey, Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. Somebody open your mouth and cry out. Spirit, move. Spirit of the living God. Era kala spalemena. Oh, barakala selene koya. Spirit oh hey. hey Holy Spirit Holy Spirit He's here tonight He's here tonight
Hallelujah. Sing amen, amen, amen. Oh, Rabbatola Sanimi. Boy, come, boy, come, oh, boy, come, boy, come, boy, come, only the voices. Father, we join the four and twenty elders. We kneel before you right now. Hey, yo.
in Kenya water. I'm in Kenya water. I'm in Kenya water. I'm in Kenya water. I have come to worship you. I'm in Kenya water. I'm the one you lifted. I'm in Kenya water. If God has lifted you, if He has saved you, you better pour out your worship to Him tonight. Somebody release worship to Him. Don't wait for me. Open your mouth and bless Him. Hey! Hey, by God, you lifted me from the dunghill and you set me up with Jesus. Hey, I am the one you have helped. I am the one you have healed. I am the one you have lifted. So I come to worship you. Hey! Come on, King Yahweh! If you are not worshiping him, it means you don't know him. He has saved you. He has cleansed you. He has healed you. He has delivered you. Jesus did at Calvary you will worship him if you know that God himself came down and hung on a tree that man will become like him you will worship him you will bless him begin to thank him for the cross thank him for the blood thank him for making a way for us to enter into his presence Oh, Nisha, Iyan, 
You are the God of awesome ones. I've tasted of your power. Holy shit. You have shown me so much mercy. Can you lift your hands? You see, when we worship like this, we prepare the atmosphere for him to move. Just focus on the Lord tonight. Nobody else. Focus on him tonight. This is a miracle service. The miracle worker is here. The miracle worker is here. He's here tonight. He's here tonight. He's here tonight. He's here tonight. See him moving in this place. Oh, Rakala Saini Menona. Hey, Yagawa Rakala. He's here tonight. He's here tonight. Miracle worker. Destiny changer. You are here tonight. El Akola Basana. Hey. Oh, Yagala Saini. I, I sense his presence here together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here tonight. He's here in the midst of his people. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, hey, hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Let's take it high and sing Hallelujah. 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 Sing Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing Hallelujah. All over this place, there is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you.
Very softly, very gently now. Something is happening in, in this place right now. Jesus. When you sing about him, he shows up. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. My God, oh, a shall about us.
Amen. There are 178 people that God has healed in the course of this worship. And I want them to step out here to be prayed for. About uh, 80 of them had a practice and they couldn't raise up their hand with casual ease. But now they can raise up those hands. And they used to have waist pain that wouldn't let them sleep. But as I speak, that waist pain had disappeared. 178 of them, if you are one of them, rush quickly to this altar. We'll pray for you that you may continue with the program of the night. I'm sorry for that uh, distraction. I don't want you to go back with whatever you came with. You are 178. If you are one of them, don't walk like you did not hear me. Walk like you are happy, you are excited, that God has blessed you, healed you, and given you a chance and a privilege to express your profound gratitude for what this awesome God has done for you. If you are coming, come quickly. Even if you are at the extreme end, come, keep up this way. We don't play. Stop. It's the time to play your instruments. If you are coming, come. And if you are coming, come excitedly and exuberantly and enthusiastically. Let heaven know you are happy. I was sitting down here yesterday and God revealed to me the, the problem in Nigeria and I began to cry. I was surprised people who saw that program outside here said I got depressed after the announcement. I have no apology for that. I see things others cannot see and I hear things others cannot hear. And time without number, I do strange and stupid things. People, my mother used to ask me, who are you? Are you really a human being? As I sat here yesterday, God revealed to me the problems of Nigeria. And people were being killed right, left, and center. I don't know if you know, very close to this place where we were, about five people were killed two days ago. Here in New York. And we used to say we are the most peaceful place. But a, a, a group of few people who said they have money, bought equipment and gave orders to kill others. Any equipment given to you to kill a Nigeria makes you an enemy of Nigeria. It disqualifies you from ruling us. Go and rule the dead. And the day will come when those who hate us will not rule us again. I saw a man in Bayelsa. I said to him, do you know you will be the first president of Nigeria from the East? He said, no, 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 no. No German can be president in Nigeria. Oga can you stop. This God overrules the primes of men. Our prayer last night was fantastic. Because every flag raised against us shall be born to pieces. A man that sees the face of God every day is greater than a man that has weapons. Where we, what is that, Joe? Where were we when I asked them to bring all the guns in the crusade ground? It's in rivers. <laughs> I told them there were 26 guns. Unlock. And I wanted the 26 given to me. People panicked. Some people tried to run. And I said, don't run. It is 
not the man that holds the trigger of the gun that determines where the bullet will go. All those who are busy buying instruments, I mean guns, to kill Nigerians, tell them, I said, the God that preach shall also raise guns of heaven to kill them. I said to a sitting president, okay, do you know you will no more be president in four days' time? He said I was bluffing. Me? Bluffing? He said yes. <laughs> I laughed. I told him, my mama, I went to China to smuggle Bible to China at the instance of God. But no foolish man has a right to stop Christian from reading the Bible. I arrived in Kenton with 300 Bibles. And they said, put your suitcase on our machines. If you have one Bible, we will know. I put my suitcase on the machines, and my suitcase crushed the machines into pieces. They asked me, are, are you a native doctor? My friend, I'm worse than a native doctor. No native doctor has a pretty wife. None has a good car. None has a good house. All I wanted to demonstrate this night is that our worship this night brought down the glory and the anointing and the unction of the Lord. That's what healed you. Are hearing me? That's what he'll do. When you go, tell people what God is doing here. He didn't say them in well. Come, if you're older than me, sit down. If you are not older, stand up. All these big men. Father, as they go, how many? Sorry, wait, wait, okay? How many do you count? No, it should be 178. Ask God to forgive me. I didn't hear you well. Now you know why I have been in love with this God for 70 years. He was, okay, my wife was with me plus Pastor Joe in Owerri about 15 weeks ago. I said to the crowd, there are 18 cripples here. They will now walk home without prayer. <laughs> Some people ask, what did he say? <laughs> my friend, I didn't speak in tongue. And they began to stand up one after another. All I am called to do is to tell Nigerians that our God is alive and powerful. Huh? <laughs> I don't know whether I said it well. In Omoka, in the, at the stadium, the plane was filled to overflow. A woman gave money for young, young men in Omoka to buy guns and fight the elders. And I said, I wanted those guns. One man cannot be the only crazy man in his village. If they decrease, me too, I decrease. <laughs> when, when they brought the guns, the thesis guns, someone asked me, where would you put the guns? <laughs> Don't worry about them. The guns are not like fair wood. They will not kill anybody. I put them one side. Called the boys, talked to them, and they cried. I promise they will never kill anybody again. That God is our God. Are you all hearing me? When you know how powerful our God is, we were going to Medukri last year for a crusade. The governor called me and said, Don't come. 
There's a plan to kill you. Your Excellency, since I'm Actually, why were you insulting God? That's because you're a small governor. You said the liberal could you believe you to see cripples walk. Now every cripple here will stand up and walk and hug you without prayer. And when they began to hug the governor, do you know he cried? <laughs> Father, everyone that you have touched tonight with the touch of healing, that healing shall not be permanent. Amen. No voice from anywhere will bring back those sicknesses. Amen. As they go, dear Lord, from here, let their enemies be introduced by you. Introduce them to their enemies. Amen. Let their enemies know who they are. Amen. And stay away from them. Amen. Father, whatever they will lay their hands to do shall prosper. Amen. Whatever they go, the voice of heaven shall speak for them. Amen. Tonight, as they go home, bless them with healing sleep. Amen. And when they wake up tomorrow morning, they'll be refreshed and repositioned and redirected and re empowered. May they become your witnesses. Let them tell the world what you can do, what you have done for them. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Come. I don't like the way we clap. You can go back to your seat. God bless you. Sorry I disrupted the flow of the worship. I just could not keep quiet. I don't know if you know it. They will come. What happened in quite no. What the first square gospel church where will happen here. We got up to worship the Lord from song to song. And the power of God came down. 5,000 conferees fell under the anointing and slept off. Every one of them, except their pastor. I said to the pastor, now that the owner of the church had taken over the church, can I go to my hotel and rest? He said, don't go. They may die. If you repeat that word, I'll slap you. Who will kill them? You even if you're a wizard, you don't know that function as a wizard. He began to cry. Daddy, don't go. You know, they went, hey, stop. <laughs> you know, I came back the next morning. They said, don't preach. See, we want to fall another anointing again. Now, like, we serve an awesomely awesome God. And your job tonight is to tell the world what you saw this night. Announce it. Let people know that this God is at work here. A minimum will happen. I'm going to ask our leader of service to call. Who do you want to call, sir? That's huh? why. I thought we'd take off right now. We don't have to call. Well, should it be ruled by your shadow? We should be ruled by time. If we don't have enough time, we'll call. Not even the main cry, we'll call for offering and then these people can uh, close the dance and the jump. Call for offering and call them. Who do you want to call? Most of you see here. Huh? Reverend Tim. No, 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 he will raise.
those who offer and pray about those who make us jump and dance. Okay, the drama, I beg, come here. Are you from Nigeria? Okay, madam, can you give him 50,000 naira? No, the man, the man mesmerized me. He sang both in Igbo language in uh, Yoruba in in uh, in Efik. Are you come? Are you Nigerian? Huh? You Yoruba man. Add one naira to that man. That fifty thousand. Are you married? I mean, don't marry in a hurry. Tell girls to wait until you are ready. I hear it. <laughs> it can go. Hallelujah. What an awesome night. We want to bring to the podium Reverend Timmy to do the next item. Keep clapping as he's coming. Hallelujah. Papa, thank you very much. Mama, I celebrate you, man. We refer to Papa right back in Benin as the white elephant. Can I see your hand for the Lord, everybody? I just remembered one of the testimonies when Papa visited last time. A woman was in the church. The reason why she came was because she was running for her, from her creditors. She bought goods and the goods were out of stock. So she ran to church. She attended the service. That day was the first night Papa came. The power of God took her. And the next day she came for testimony in the evening. What was her testimony? The goods she bought that was out of stock the next day customers were looking for that particular goods she sold all the goods paid her bills and still had seed to sow to the lord 24 hours from that moment and i released that same 24 hours opening grace upon your life it shall happen by daybreak in the name of jesus bible says in the book of genesis he said, so long the earth remained, seed time and harvest, cold, winter, spring will not cease. It means if you have a seed, you must have an harvest. If you can sow a seed, you can harvest the seed. Tonight, a seed will leave your hand. And by tomorrow, you will be harvesting that seed in the name of Jesus. I am not an architect. I didn't read architecture in school. But we did our practical in the field. And one day, the bricklayers, they were raising fence, and we were giving them the blind blocks. At times, these blind blocks are very heavy. So we will look for broken ones and give to them. They will return it. They need the full blocks. So they were returning all the broken blocks. But they took the clean and neat blocks. They go to the end where they need to take level. We now brought complete block. They said, no. That half block that you brought that time, go and look for it. We said, we threw the block away. He said, no, we said, go and look for the block. Tonight, I want to speak prophetically. After this sea, where they rejected you, they will come and look for you. I said, after this seed, where do we reject you? We are rejected. They will come and look for you in the name of Jesus. You will become very relevant in your family again. Your age does not matter. If God finds you, the world will look for you. And with that seed, heaven will find you. And the world will look for you. Hold a seed. Not just an offering. Let it be a seed. The one you want to harvest tomorrow morning. The one that is bigger than your dreams. The one that can settle every issue in your life. Stand with that seed. If you are not convenient with the seed, 
dip your hand again and complete it. There is a particular amount your spirit agrees with. That particular amount, hold it in your hands. And everybody, please remain standing. In the name of Jesus. I decree standing on the shoulder of my father 24 hours from now let there be a rapid harvest in the name of Jesus Christ you will reap this seed internationally you will reap this seed in Africa you will reap this seed in Nigeria you will reap it in your family you will reap it in your job you will reap it in your businesses in the name of Jesus it is done in Jesus name God bless you we now bring the drama to the podium clap as it's coming hallelujah who is greater than Jehovah God there is no one greater there is no one
Instrumentalist. That's another fifty thousand. Hallelujah. Can you see what the great anointing in the arena can do? Because time is far spent, we want to receive the classical choir now. Let's clap to the Lord as the mount their podium. convention shall be like no other convention.
convention shall be like no other convention. Everyone that says, Where is my God? Others give testimonies. I have no testimony. And each of them shall have a testimony. I will ask you to ask God to bless you with the life of heaven here on earth. Not everybody is struggling. There are people who don't struggle that things happen. That's where I want God to transport you to. This night, your life shall not be the same again. Wherever they are, now power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Everyone that said, I don't know how a mechanical trends did. We are being viewed all over the world now. I don't know how a mechanical friends did. We are being viewed. The maker of heaven and earth. He says, I don't care your condition. I don't care what you are going through. I don't care the difficulties you encounter every day. I shall bless you. You were created on purpose for a purpose. And tonight I demand that the purpose for which you were created must be fulfilled. Some people will go from here to a life of greatness. Others will go from here to a life of good health. I don't know what you're facing. This God you serve will intimidate your enemies.